It didn't start to really get intense until we started using a much higher voltage. Raise it up! Raise it up, guys! Everything goes wrong for Chris. Next. Here I was in a chainmail suit building up to my goal of getting struck by 3 million volts of electricity. Raise it up! Raise it up, guys! As the voltage went up, the shock started getting more intense. The tingling sensation was more like a bunch of needles being stuck into my body. At 2 million volts, we were significantly higher than anything I had ever trained with. I had no way of knowing what it would feel like, but I figured that the needle stabs would start to feel more like knives. I couldn't even guess what 3 million volts would feel like, but there was only one way to find out. Stay back. Yes. Is it clear? Clear. Everything clear? Chris. 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 Get his face mask off, somebody. Chris. John, we need his face mask off. Chris. Speak to me. Uh. Chris. Chris. You gotta pause. Chris. Chris. Trying to get the O2 on him? This is one of those cases where you could plan for everything, but there's always that half a percent chance that something could go wrong. We're all freaked and, and thought he'd been killed. Let's get him belted in and let's get him in the hospital. You're right. All right, let's go put you in the ambulance and take you just to check you out, all right? He wanted to see what extreme he can take it to, and he paid the consequences. They give us a room yet? Sorry, guys, no cameras in here. All right, no problem. Apparently, in order to get into the suit, there was a zipper which was secured to the rest of the suit by some fabric. And as it turned out, that piece of fabric wasn't entirely protected. Horrifically, that's exactly where he got struck. Chris doesn't realize fully what he puts his family through when he does these demonstrations. And more than that now, it seems like the whole crew is pretty much emotionally involved with him and got attached to him. And uh, they're all concerned about his safety. Gave him all kinds of tests, CAT scans, and uh, EKGs, and and thank God he was released like, against doctor's orders, but he was released uh, that night. I don't know what happened. What I'm concerned about is that they said the doctor said to me that I did nerve damage to my foot. How severe? He doesn't know. It could be something that will go away. It could be something that stays that way indefinite. So I'm just hoping that. Uh, that uh, it gets better. 
So here we are in Las Vegas. It's been about two weeks since I was released from the hospital in Baraboo, Wisconsin. I'm happy to say that I fully recovered my left foot, has no nerve damage of any kind. Um, and I feel a huge sense of accomplishment with uh, being struck by the Tesla coil. So um, I'm ready to move on. I want to be struck by Mother Nature. I want to head over to uh, Florida to do that. They're the number one state for lightning strikes. So my goal is to go over there and to do diligence, make the proper suit to do it. And I'm hoping that my team will support me in my quest. Chris, you've already been struck by three million volts. I mean, what do you have to prove? That's what it's about, you know? It's about what separates the men from the boys. It could also be what separates the living from the dead. It doesn't matter. For me, it's it's about pushing the envelope. You and that's... It. You yeah, but, but I want to do it for Chris, people have been it. struck by lightning. You proved you, you could take the equivalent of lightning with the Tesla strike in preparation for this. It's enough. It was close enough. Why do you have to go any, any more than this? We tried talking to Christopher. Um, the whole family, crew, everybody, everybody's dead set against this. And he saw what happened, uh, and everybody tries talking some sense into him, but he gets something in his mind, and he just wants to do it. I want nothing to do with this. I, I don't want to be part of a suicide.